Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play on Total War Free Kingdoms with Gongdu on Legendary Difficulty. The last time we left off, we were doing lots of things with lots of people. Uh, oh, here you go. Okay, so yeah, I gotta talk about this for a second because a patch was just released um, about, I don't know, an hour or two ago. I, I, actually, while I was recording the last episode, I think. But then I restarted the game because uh, I had lunch, etc. And yeah, a new patch has arrived. Uh, which has introduced a couple of things. First and foremost, well, I'm, I'm not going to go over all of it, but just from the top of my head. One of the things that has been patched is uh, Force March, or if, if an enemy army is in Force March stance, for example, right here, unfortunately I can't quite reach, but if I could, um, and say they wanted to run away, they can't anymore, they have patched it now. So if you are in Force March stance, and you get attacked, you can't run away anymore, which is, thank fuck for that. Um, also, if you have a vassal and a vassal gets attacked and you protect him, you don't have a, you don't get a trustworthy bon a diplomacy penalty anymore. Uh, there's a whole bunch of shit, but also most important, well, not most importantly, one of the most important things anyway, is that they introduced a new satisfaction mechanic, and it, this basically uh, sees how corruption is across your entire am empire. Um, so if satisfaction in general is high, like it is for me now, everyone's like the high, the lowest is like 37 or something, but most people are green. Um, then we get high satisfaction, which means that we get plus four military supplies and minus 10% corruption, which is pretty fucking good. Uh, if it's low, you get penalties to it. So basically you want to try and keep satisfaction high, which is great because on legendary, I believe everyone just has a minus 10 general discontent, which I think is legendary. It's a difficulty base, but I'm not entirely sure about that actually. Uh, but yeah, there's that. There's also something we can't actually see because we are playing as a yellow turban faction, but normally you would see... Um, oh! Wait, why are we looking at... Oh yeah, okay, he's got a wife apparently. Um, yeah, we can see different... Well, we can't see it here because again, I'm playing as a yellow turban faction, but when I'm playing my other campaign, you'll be able to see it, although the Zhang Yang campaign is already finished. It'll probably be the Ma Tong by this point. Um, you can go into other factions' family trees. But yellow terms don't get that. There's also this thing you can see who is ever, who everyone's married to. Apparently he's married as well. I didn't even realize that. Um, so yeah, there's some more information here. You can also now have everyone in your court. Um, you can arrange a marriage for them. Although again, because we're playing yellow terms, we can't. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of stuff like that as well. There's uh, yeah, there's been a whole bunch of changes, mostly for the better, uh, as far as I can tell. So I'm quite happy with those. Um, Another big one is also that if you get besieged, for example, let's actually, you know, this is a good example here. When I take this iron mine uh, and I'm going to sit in it and I get besieged by the enemy army and they siege me out before if it goes back to my turn, even though it hasn't been a full turn since they started besieging me, I would have already taken attrition. Um, but that's been fixed now. So you don't take attrition before it becomes like you basically take the attrition when it's their turn, which is what it should be. So that's solved as well or fixed as well now. Yeah, the big one is attacking an army in Force March Stance now means that they actually get attacked in Force March Stance, which is just fantastic. Um, and they can't run away, is what I mean. Other than that, I think it's time to move on. We are making 12 grand a turn. I don't know exactly how that happened. Um, I know the corruption probably had a, has a big thing to do with that. Um, we still have a lot of corruption everywhere. Because I, I feel like when I left the episode last time, we were making 6k per turn. You know what? I'm actually I'm gonna check that. Give me one second. All right. So I was check. I checked it, and I was making 8.1k per turn. Uh, so I think that 10% corruption is actually making me a lot more money right now. So that's definitely gonna help out, and means that I really probably ought to recruit another army, which is what I was considering already. So I might as well. Um, before we do anything though, I think we gotta do this battle. We had another battle waiting for us too, right? Uh, or no, no, no. We had a siege, which we weren't gonna actually fight, but that's fine. Cool, alright, yeah. I'm, I'm glad we're making this much more money. I don't mind that. Uh, See, so yeah, we're gonna fight this battle. Uh, they, yeah, there's not a whole lot here. I mean, my army's kind of busted too, and again, I only have one trebuchet and it doesn't have the flaming shot, but hopefully the enemy will still sally out, otherwise this actually would be more difficult than I had intended it to be. It'll be somewhat difficult regardless, even if they do come out, because my infantry is kind of dead in this one, isn't it? That's the guy who got wounded last time, so let's make sure he doesn't get wounded again. But yeah, that patch, uh, that's, that solved a lot of issues that I had with the game, which I wasn't even really that vocal about, I tend not to be. There's things that anno annoy me sometimes, but 
Um, I don't like keep hammering on about them or something. But yeah, the fact that you obviously couldn't attack, or that you could, um, actually you're fine over there. The fact that you couldn't, or that enemies could run away when they're being uh, attacked in force march stands like that, that's just ridiculous, and that definitely did need patching. Oh, I wasn't supposed to take you, sorry. Yeah, units are a bit dead. Actually, let's do this. Spear units on the right. Eh, whatever. As long as I protect my units well enough. Oh, he's got that big old fucking I am dead. Please be careful with my life. Icon. Let's put you on the right, actually, since we have... That means we got some spears over here as well. Alright. Please... Do exit your town. They are not exiting. Fuck. Well, let's hope that a volley or two will make them exit, but I'm not holding out too much hope in this particular case. Honestly, I might do the cheese in this particular instance. Sieging out multiple times. I must say, though, people have actually commented... Um, that they don't think it's all that cheesy. Because basically, yeah, you would have... Uh, sieges would last multiple months and you could have battles or skirmishes, I think, is more appropriate in that case. Um, I still think from a gameplay perspective that it's a bit cheesy, but so be it. Yeah, it looks like this isn't gonna... This isn't gonna happen. I feel like that mounted Saber Militia Cav might be dead. <laughs> Well, do I try and go in and blow up the tower? I don't think I do, because I, I just don't think it's actually possible. Oh. Actually, what if I... Do I have to run everyone off the battlefield? Or No, because this is um, Conceit Defeat. Yeah, if I run off the battlefield, it's a, draw. it's a draw. Although, would Conceit Defeat not just be the same thing? I wonder. Either way, we maybe killed off a unit, so that's great. Yeah, this might take a... A couple of battles, but I, I am going to cheese it. I know it's cheesy to cheese it, but I really need to take this time right now, and you know what? I fucking play enough difficult campaigns and shit that you can cut me some slack every once in a while, which you guys are doing, I think, and I went actually really complained about it. Some people said it was cheesy, but it wasn't like a bad thing. Alright. We're out of here. It's a draw. I feel like I can actually just uh, concede defeat and it would be okay, but I'm not sure. I don't really want to test that theory. Killed 300 men. Oh, killed more than I thought, actually. I mean, it's not great, but it's because we don't have an explosive shot. Hey, maybe, they, maybe he leveled up. He didn't level up. Uh, yeah, one level up actually would do it. You need a lot of experience. That's not going to happen. Alright, well, let's do it again. Do it again. Actually, it would be a decisive victory right now. Oh, no! Wait, did they fix this one too? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh, fuck. They did, I, did, I don't think it said that in the patch notes, but I'm pretty sure they fixed this one too. Oh, I'm kind of fucked because... I know there's an army here, and if I run away... Uh, hmm. There's a chance I lose this army here, but if I do, I suppose I'll just screw a new one. Also, we're making less money now. I don't know how it happened, but we are, so. Why does that sound like a robot? We are making less money. I was gonna recruit another army here, but I already have that one that I recruited here as well. I feel like I should just recruit another one over here. Or over here. Yeah, I think this made more sense actually. We're not really making a lot of... We don't have a lot of money, I mean. We also have no more healers, and we are running out of actual characters that even get explosive shots and all that. If I was if I was smart, I'd probably just take out, like, one of these two veterans. Although neither one of them gets the explosive shot. Man, that is pathetic. Um, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Okay, well, let's just see who we've got available that perhaps does get it and is currently on assignment like this guy who does get it, but he's weak, so fuck this guy. Someone who doesn't have the worst stats in the world. 
Do I even have anyone I can still get it? Yeah, you can still get it. You are on Complicator, which does make you a bit meh, but it's still okay. Right, so I'm going to recruit you. I would prefer not using him first, though, like recruiting the other units first, but I also need to know who he likes. That's kind of awkward. Uh, it was... Who was it? T. I have no idea who you like. What do you value? Respects discipline, loves gluttony, vanity, and drunkenness. I don't think I can be bothered to check every single person, though. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll recruit you, I'll check who you like, and then I'll disband you again. I'll recruit you next turn. Right, whom do you like? Oh god, there's not many people. There's another guy here who may have to be my calf commander, so I guess that's okay. And there's... One single... Jesus Christ, no one like T likes TE, do they? You do. And there's a single guy who likes us, Yuan Zan. Okay. Shen Tu Chong. Are you one who's going to be incredibly horrible for me? Oh, you're down here somewhere. Um, no, that's not him. Where's the guy with that name? Oh, is he on commission? No, he's not. He can't be. There you are. Wait, what is this? Scared of court? What is this then? This is my generals. Wait, but I can recruit him, so I don't understand. Um... Anyway, you are stern, unobservant, and ambitious. You're actually possibly a better choice for my... You get it too. Yeah, I may as well just use this other guy. Okay, we'll recruit you and see who likes you instead. Uh, there's... <laughs> Not a lot more people. Uh, Ying Rui does. So maybe that'll be my calf commander then. Uh, Ying Rui. I'm looking for a Ying Rui. There you are. You have that. You are incompetent, superstitious, and distinguished. AKA. Not very bueno, but you don't get the special ability, so yeah, you're, you're getting recruited in here, sure. Ying Rui, okay. And then you're gonna get disbanded. Because you're not actually gonna get used anymore. And now I can't see who they like, but they like each other for now, so let's just start with that. Right, so you're my... You're my cat... Uh, my uh, in, my uh, range units commander. There we go. I can speak. And you're my calf commander. So let's just get all those recruited immediately. Immediately, sir. Why are they so expensive? Do we have that plus... No, recruitment cost. No, we don't. Okay, I don't know then. Uh, right, well that's alright. We'll just replace other stuff later on. That's fine. And the next turn we have to recruit the other guy anyway. We should easily have enough money for that leftover, so that's not a problem. It's all good. Okay. I think it's time to to end this turn. This was a disappointing situation and these guys might die. I could stop besieging and run away. Try to get over to the other side of the, f the water, but... Uh, you know what? I could do some replenishment. I was going to take it in this town, but... Yeah, let's let's just see what happens. If I just were to retreat... Oh, nice! He ran across. That's even better. I did not expect that. Okay. I do want to replenish... Uh, so I'm not going to sprint, even though it possibly could mean that I get attacked, but we'll see. Also, these guys are all not coming back yet for two turns, so I have at least a turn to replenish. Yeah, I think I made the right choice there. Alright. That's it. Let's get a move on, boys. Please don't have any more weird things happen that makes me lose a bunch of food, because I need my food right now. Uh, oh yeah, you're selling out here. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, you guys have explosive shots, so that's all good. 
This army is actually kind of wounded still. Yeah, I don't know why it's a divine defeat. I mean, to be fair, at this point, every single fucking battle that we initiate is supposedly a valiant defeat, so... <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what the game's got against me. I've sa I said this, I think this was like back in Rome two times. I said that the game should have kind of... I'm sure this would be very difficult to program, or it could be abused or something, but it should have kind of an intelligent system where... Um, basically, it would take previous battles into consideration when determining your auto resolve in newer battles. If I've been winning many battles in a row with an army that perhaps isn't as good as the enemy army, but I have been winning many battles in a row, and the game knows that basically, it should say in the system like, okay, well, this army might not be this good, but it clearly is performing well against superior armies, so predicted outcome, close victory, or whatever, you know. I imagine it would be very difficult to program that, plus, you know, it's kind of a weird system to program anyway, because you're taking into, you're not taking into consideration the actual game, but just a player who's playing it, and that is obviously a weird thing to measure. And I suppose since it is a Total War game, um, you know, you can always abuse the AI and, and have really good victories that you maybe shouldn't have. Also, I can't see, so I can't shoot. Well, never mind, there they are. I may have to shift the entire army now. Oh yeah, all the calves over there, that's what that is. Let's get you over here. Wait. I had accidentally also selected that one. And I don't want that shit. Alright, I'm gonna send you guys further away. Uh, no. Oh god, I- oopsie, hello. You might want to come back now. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. Does anyone want to duel you? Yes, the Vanguard does. That should be easily winnable, so I'll run you up there. Uh, artillery guys, what are we firing at? It seems like we're firing at the cavalry, maybe... I don't know. Don't do that. Okay, that's very important to me that you guys stay hidden, because you're gonna get slaughtered if you don't. Um, let me go a little bit further away before I initiate this duel. Oh, that works even better, sure. Okay, we're doing some damage as far as the infantry of Jing, which is a very solid defensive unit. Hopefully this is good enough. Uh, Alright, the duel will be initiated and happen around here somewhere. Perfect. Yes, I agree. There it goes. AKA Dar she blows. Uh, I'm gonna have to keep you back here though. Alright, is the jewel happening over here? Oh, that's perfect. Right next to my line. Uh, oh, never mind, they charge in that into my archers, any or my uh, anti cavalry, and after all, so it's okay. Let's have you guys move up now. Can't really send them in yet. I can start getting these guys over here, though. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh yeah, you can... Sure, you can do that. That's pretty good. Get you in there. Maybe actually stop these units from moving so they get shot more. Go kill him. Healer needs to stay close for the heal, but... I mean, the cover's taking ages. Time for you guys to get over here. That one, and that one. Amazing that you can battle and talk. <laughs> oh shit, that guy's reducing or increasing my cooldown. Let's get out of here and use the heal now, I think. Right. Oh, I actually attacked him as well. I don't think he was actually wounded, but... Oh no, our cavalry has been discovered. Whatever will we do? You guys have destroyed these units. Fantastic. That's exactly what I signed you up for, or something. Um, yeah, please do continue murdering these people for me. Oh no! <laughs> I keep forgetting about this shit. Alright, get in there, because that unit got wrecked by archers. You go kill that unit now. Cavalry's already here, let's get the fuck out of there. I think you killed a fuck ton of dudes. Judging money, men are dead over there now. Can you win this battle already? 
Oh, you won it. Just before I got to use that ability. Oh, never mind. It was a cooldown. So this guy. Alright, mount back up. <laughs> Is a mountain range somewhere. It's called mount back up. Uh, Alright, I think we won. GG and that. They sallied out, so we gotta kill off as much as humanly possible. Go kill him. Actually, you know what? Just help out over here first. We should have him down, no problemo. In there, please. Uh, let's kill whatever. Cavalry unit over here. Let's go kill that unit. And then I'm missing a cavalry unit over here. Right. Well, I like this. Very neat. It's obviously because my things are kind of facing the wrong way, but it looks really cool. <laughs> It's actually really, I don't know why, this looks, it's almost symmetrical too, if this one was slightly further back, it would have been really symmetrical. Alright, you are clearly unbreakable. Please die. I've had enough of this nonsense. You're, you're gonna need to stop moving, sir. Okay, artillery pieces, better watch out, don't kill all my troops, please. Alright, I think I'm really just already killing off everything I can't kill off, except for you. You're not really killing off anything. Also, how is this guy still... Oh, well, he's not anymore, but... How is he still doing that? Even though he's routed, apparently that still works. That's kind of impressive, actually. Also, this guy is just not getting fucking killed. I need to have this available so he stands still. Give me some regular cab over here. Uh, that unit's dead already. I need somebody to kill that unit still. Alright, two seconds. Stop moving, you son of a fucking bitch. Slice him up, boys. Slice him up. Keep hitting him. I don't know how he's still got this much HP, to be honest. Most defensive fucking strategist I've ever seen. Oh, he's dead. And one. Uh, I should kill that unit off, and that one as well. And that one's dead. Infantry of Jing, my ass! More like infantry of dead. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh boy. Oh, we're running straight for a unit that we were leaving for that one to kill. Are we gonna reach this unit? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Come here, help out. Because this isn't going fast enough. Mostly because I hadn't reached the unit yet when I said it. Show me. 26, okay. Alright, they're dead zoids. Alright, that was good. That went way better than I imagined it would actually go. One unit got zero kills. You're a fucking disgrace. That was some good money right there. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the money. Don't really need that replenishment. Hello? Peace! Wow, it's fine. You finally came to me with peace, and it's actually worse than it was before. Wow. What are you doing, Cao Cao? You're on your way to attack me, is what you're doing. Could you not, though? Alternatively. Oh, there's Sun Jian. That's an army I haven't seen yet. Oh, and there's that reinforcement army. That's quite a few troops, but I'm replenishing. Oh god, this fucking zoomed in shit is not giving me a lot of information, is it? That was a random army that just attacked me, I think. Uh, we captured that settlement. Oh, sweet. I'm assuming that was this one right here. Yeah, it was. Alright, are we being besieged here? Is that what I saw? No, it's not. Yeah, not... Oh, here we are. We're being besieged here. Okay. And now, because of the patch that I just... <laughs> it's a beta patch, by the way. Because I'm just using now. I didn't take attrition yet, which means I should be able to fight this normally. Ooh, it's a valiant defeat, though, but... Uh, I could also just let them actually do the battle. I mean, last time we did that, we destroyed the enemy. So, let's just wait for a second. Oh, what the? Why did that happen? Yes. Who is this? New phone, who this? Is it you? I don't really need another scholar. Oh, that's pretty fucking good, though. Oh, that's pretty good as well. If only you were a healer. Alright. Chang something. Fucking hell, this scrolling is ridiculous. You're gonna have to give up these items, I'm, I'm afraid. And 
who's a level up you? You are not leading this force. Well, maybe you ought to be. Um, yeah, you probably should. If I get this, we get the extra movement range. Probably worth making him the leader. Then again, we got some buffs we can get as well, some abilities. Yeah, I like movement range. Let's do it. The Kim the leader. Alright, that's the army we just took as well, or the time we just took. Okay, so we can't move that army either because of that reason. Can you reach this? Not at all. Still replenishing a little bit anyway, but I think I might just still go up here. I won't be fully replenished when we attack the town, but I think that's okay. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Right, so yeah, where's um, an army here, which might be on its way to attack me here, although it's taking attrition, that's fantastic. Um, I saw Sun Jan's army. I don't know where, but I s could have sworn I saw it. See, this guy's in Force March Stand, so if I attack this right now, I actually will be able to reach him. Or he, he won't be able to run away, I mean. Having said that, it's got a trebuchet and a gop of all, some good units, and I have no cavalry, so... <laughs> Surprisingly, I'm not gonna do- not gonna take that one. Um, can we reach this place? We can't, but I'm pretty sure there's an army in there and you can reach it, so we can 2v1 that. I think that's okay, even 3v1 it if I really wanted to. But I might not, because I need to get an army in here, because otherwise this army will fuck me up. Then again, he's gonna also fuck me up. So that's not gonna work too well. Am I gonna go back to be able to deal with this? I think I am. Also, it lets me f fully replenish, so I don't feel as bad about missing the replenishment from earlier. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, who's... Okay, we did that already. Lots of buildings, which... Oh no, we're on minus one food now. No! Ah, oh, no, I don't want these to give me food, otherwise I'd go for the food building. Probably still worth it, just to get a food, but... Damn, why? How could this happen to me? Okay, this wasn't going to be a food problem. In fact, I'm pretty sure I just removed this building. Yeah, I mean, there's no point in trying to build that up again, I think. Yeah. We have a food production building here, but no actual building that produces food. Right, this clearly wasn't going to be a food production building, but let's go farming, because that will solve my food issue immediately. And here, I'll upgrade that one for an extra food as well. Again, not the building I was supposed to actually even have there, but we got it now. I'm building that. Um, I have a lot of money to probably build whatever I want, actually, so let's just do that. I think this is still going to be income from farming and stuff, so let's actually just do that anyway. And get rid of this building later on. All right. That's about all I can do. Except here. This is definitely a food province, but I can't build any more other food provinces. Also, this thing is bugged again for some reason. Okay, whatever. See if I care. I'm building that, which gives me no food whatsoever, but it's being built. Teehee. Honest man for a Ying Rui. Oh, that's the guy we just recruited over here. So he's just become a little bit better. Fantastic. Fantastic, my good man. Alright, and then who's going to be the final person in this? Okay, so it could be you. And that's it. It's you. <laughs> Ji or Yi Wang Xin, are you any good? That's a good question. It's a good question, Yi Wang Xin. Uh, I don't think it really matters. It's more about these stats. Uh, yeah, you're fine, actually. You don't have any expertise, really, but you're okay. Welcome to the squad. Prepare to get all your incredibly high experience units replaced. You are my... Infantry commander. Right. Oh, hello. What's that? Watch this, did I? Trying to pull a quick one on me. Good thing I'm so fucking alert, eh, boys? Okay, who's the commander here? 
It is. Not you. Not you. And not you. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's make it the cat. Let's do that one and then that one. That way I've got cab infantry. Well, cab melee infantry, ranged infantry. Ranged units. Go away. Go away. Go away. Okay. Um, then what? We need items. I unfortunately still have no weapons to give anyone. So, I mean, I have this two handed axe or battle axe here, but it's just not really the weapon of choice. It does make you legendary. Yeah, lose free melee evasion. Fuck it, I'll take it. No horses. Uh, you can have. You're my melee. Or, yeah, my melee. Well, the calf commander. So you can have whatever the fuck you want. Let's take some. Some authority, I guess, because I'll never use those otherwise. And I don't have anything better for you. Resolve. Sure. You, my good man. No weapons for you. There's always this one. I have, like, I have three more of those lying around. I have so many of those. You are going to get some instinct. Again, for lack of anything better. And some instinct. Yep. I think so. You are going to get a G. And a cunning. Plus four. I'm actually running out of these ones as well now. Crazy shiz. And cunning. Yeah, I think that one's fine. Ambush chance, sure. Alright, cool. So there's another army done. It's gonna take two turns to fully replenish, but that's okay. Let's attack this place. Let's take this place. This is now my place. Shit! It's gonna be even more wor or even wor even worse for food. Oh never mind. That didn't change anything. Because it's making exactly zero. Oh yeah. That was good. <laughs> yeah, we got the two important food buildings already. Fair enough. I'm gonna leave it the way it is in that case. Um right, you can move on. Actually, yeah, I can't attack that still. Oh sworn. That's this army, I think. And love each other. Everyone around here loves each other. Are you gonna attack my copper mine and be a little bitch? Okay, well, you won't be able to do anything there, that's fine. You're also losing men. The army that was over here seems to have pulled back as well, unless it's an ambush stance. Which means I might pull you away from here, but uh, I'll keep you here in case it is an ambush stance. There's no reason not to just keep it around, I think. You only have one more town to take around here, and it's the iron mine of the honors, that one as well, actually. Is this my territory? Yeah, it is. Alright, let's go on the offensive. And you're gonna pull through, but I'll stay in my own territory, I think. I ought to make that still, I think. And I kind of do need to replenishment a little bit. See, so this is a bit of a problem. No doubt of you is taking attrition. These armies are really small, but it's still not small enough to be able to deal with it with this. Plus, this actually is a... It's a lumber yard, so actually a lumber yard is a defendable thingy magic, I believe. Uh hmm. Do I just start moving that way? I lose the mustering bonus, but it's still gonna be some good replenishment. If I get attacked, my army is gonna be a bit dead. Eh, the calves alright. It's the infantry that's almost dead though, but Against this army, there's not a whole lot of men here either, to be honest. Yeah, alright, I'll start chasing them. I'll lose the mustering bonus, but still two turn replenishment or something. Maybe free. Okay, so you're going to move up towards this farmland, unless you're coming back to deal with this, which I think is the more likely thing to do with that army. So you're still a bit wounded. But you can reinforce here as well. Okay, so I think we'll do that. And then you're going to go back and deal with this. So I might lose this livestock farm. I'm not going to try and fight it. Because if he wants to attack me... Like, if he wants to take the livestock... If you can see, if I run in there, force march stance... Or march stance... Then they're going to attack me in there with two armies. And I get kind of fucked. So I don't really want to take that chance. Also, that is a great garrison. We get reclaimers. Fuck me. So, you know, I would have liked to have used as well in this campaign, but... I haven't got unlocked yet. Um, okay. 
So what's next? This situation here I gotta think about. First of all, stop moving away. I have got quite a few men now, but so do they, and they're also replenishing quite fast. Um, so I could attack this turn. I can't actually even. 0% <laughs> ambush success chance. Pretty good. If I try an ambush here, I'll probably just not see it. But I'll still do it. Oh, I lost my mustering bonus because of that, damn it. I'm gonna not attack that just yet. I am gonna have to do that battle there, I think. I'm also gonna move this army towards the rice paddy here. Still replenish a significant amount, so that's okay. Lost the mustering bonus as well, but oh well. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna just let the, these armies sit here. I'm gonna move this one over here, though. So we'll attack here. We are a bit wounded again, so I could do a replenishment, but... And there will be an army. Oh, there's no army, actually. Never mind. Well, in that case, this is a field battle. Do I even get the second army involved? I could get there easily. This is not a problem. I could also just kind of let this army replenish and send it this way instead. Start going hard on the Kingdom of Wu. Also, taking that, we're going to be almost bordering that fucking capital right away. I also wonder, do you guys still not want peace? No, you don't. Oh, it's very close, though. I can easily do that. Anything else I could do? Peace of Tsao Tsao, no thanks. No one wants to submit to me. Fair enough. I understand. Just gonna have to kill you do your old-fashioned way in that case. Um, yeah, I guess I could build some buildings that I could upgrade. Like, buildings that I haven't really even paid attention to recently because we um, aren't really focused on regular buildings anymore. I'm just trying to keep my food afloat because the more towns I take, the more painful it's going to be. That was for grind. You know what? Let's just get that quick going. I might even just auto uh, or if auto finish it just to get more food out of this. Right. Uh, so we got two bottles. This one right here, and this one right here. Also, did I move this army? No, yeah, we took the town, so we can't move it. This one, I could let them siege me out. But if they successfully do so, I will have lost her, which kind of sucks. But, oh, fuck, she's got the fucking blade of Shang Yu. Oh, shit, son. Oh, I did not think about that. What abilities have you got? Only that one, right? Yeah, that's kind of shit, but... If she jewels... <laughs> like, it's... <laughs> it's all up to that. She, If she doesn't dodge, she dies very quickly because her armor is reduced by 25%, but if she does dodge, if she gets a couple of hits off, she just destroys people. I could also even just leave her out of a jewel and just attack with her. I think I will fight it. I've got cav, but they don't, so I should be able to get rid of their cav, or their... Um, Ranging this quite easily. We have enough infantry to hold back that stuff, I think. Yeah, let's just let's fight it. The main thing is they've got two generals and I only got one, but they have one of them is a strategist, so yeah. And I gave her the fucking item of Dongzhou that I take took like I don't know episode. Four or five or something. I'm pretty sure it's been in the in in my camp campaign for a very long time. For a very long time. Are they coming towards me? They are. Okay, that's probably a good thing. All right, cowboys, start getting you into this forest here, shall we? Range units into the forest as well. And stabby boys. And you. I actually kind of want to see the sword. Yeah, that looks pretty rad. Nice. Nice! I almost want to just send her in there just to murder someone, but I feel like that might not be the best idea here. Either way. Let's trip the speed. Oh yeah, we got Man of the Forest, so we can actually run through the forest with super speed. Okay, let me just 
show her so that they come this way. Unfortunately, because of the angle they're coming from right now, they're gonna have the protection of the forest as well. Da -da -da. My calf's gonna be most important here, which it normally is, but still. Does anyone want to duel you? Nope. Fair enough. Alright, stay hidden, but let's move up a little bit. Also, can you guys fire whilst hidden? I doesn't say, but I think you can. Maybe that's your, like, special thing. Which means that if I don't fire with this unit... Oh fuck, are they just gonna sit there? What, in tarnation? Well, you know what? Come here, then. Little shit, I'll fuck you up. Come at of me. Oh, she has fatigue resistance minus... Oh, never mind, they're coming, okay. Me saying come at of me made them come towards me. I'm sure that's what it did. Uh, you are not in a position where you hide, but apparently you're still hidden, so I'll accept it. But yeah, anyway, the point is that if I don't fire with that unit, I might actually... They might not even see me. So I'm tempted not to fire at all. But on the other hand... Oh, they've stopped again. Are you still up front? Yep, all right, we'll just charge that guy again. On the other hand, I want to do as much damage with ranged as possible. Ranged? I will cut out your heart. I was talking to this guy, but sure, whatever, dude. Whatever floats your boat, my friend. All right, let's see how much one fucking hit does. Chunk! Oh, no, nothing. That's quite pathetic, in fact. I took a lot of damage her. Well, not a lot, but I took a little bit of damage on her. I did nothing to him. I wonder if he dodged it, or if... No, it looks like his, ball is, or his bar is not entirely full anymore, so it just didn't do that much damage at all. I am disappointed. Maybe he's got tons of armor. It's mostly non-armor piercing damage, which doesn't mean she becomes really good against regular units, but... Alright, we are immediately discovered, so I'm assuming that they can just see me properly. And their crossbows are, of course, in range. As per usual. Oh, they've seen my range units, fair enough. Um, geez, it's a bit risky just to send her in there, I think, but... I do want to kill that guy. I want to see the chunks, like when Dong Zhu attacked me in the Zhang Yang campaign. One of my generals got absolutely chunked. Oh, there is actually a same militia I could easily murder like this. Oh no, you guys fucking lost your target. God damn it, that's not what I need right now. Okay, good damage. Fucking charging between these two units now. You are taking significant amount of damage already. Let's get you back here. Alright, next one, please. Uh, after having seen what happens... Nah, she's good against infantry. Let's use her against infantry. The only, way, the only reason I'll take that is if he decides... If he like actually starts murdering all my cavalry and stuff, but... I find it rather unlikely that you got fucking demolished. Alright, kill that unit for me. She's getting wrecked by regular units, to be honest. Alright, let's just come over there and duel him. And get you in here there. In here there? Yep, that makes sense. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wait, where's the jump animation? Man, that's the one that does tons of damage. Pathetic. Okay, kill him then first. That's fine. You can hold off these guys for a while. That's okay. Come here, fiend. Let's fucking have your head. Did she just miss again? Did nothing again. It's pathetic happening right now? Oh, there we go. Now she chunks him. 
That stupid units come back from routing. Can you just actually kill this unit? I feel like you're not actually doing the job of killing that unit, which is what you were supposed to be doing. Okay, you're chunking him quite successfully. Well done. Cav, go kill that unit over there that we just lost sight of. They're gonna get shot by archers, so that's all, all bueno. Oh my god, okay, that was a big chunk right there at the end. I was looking at that. She had like almost, he had like almost a third of his HP left over. Gone. I guess, yeah, they don't have a lot of armor, so the non-armor piercing damage is really good. Are you seriously firing at me right now? Like, what is wrong with you? Oh, they actually routed. Okay, just come over here then. Never mind. Um... I think it's just triple speed time now, really. You just kill that unit, and then she will kill this guy, alright? Look at that chunk. She's chunking him now. Fucking chunk this boy. There we go. Alright. Kill that unit, please. Keep chunking him. I want to see this man chunked. I love the word chunk for some reason. Oh, no one actually went after this unit, but that's okay. You. Destroy it. Are you going to be able to reach that? Maybe. But maybe not. Yeah, that weapon is actually really good. I do quite like it. Oh, nice. We're doing it. Is it going to be enough? No, but that was definitely helpful. Please reach faster. You did not reach that unit. You did not reach that unit. You are reaching this unit. That's definitely worth killing off. <laughs> Running straight into trees. I'm a horseman. I know what I'm doing. I was trained for this. Anyone wondering how do you do this, by the way? I got this question a lot. It's insert. Oh, we won. Where's my mouse? There it is. It's on the other screen somehow. It's, uh, yeah, it's insert on your keyboard. Well, on the shortcut is just ins, but it's insert. Okay? Easy enough. <laughs> Good money. I will still take the replenishment. Despite it not being particularly useful there. Alright, so it's just two units left over. Let's go murder them. That's kind of sad, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's a victory. That wasn't very close. Did you even take any damage? It wasn't close at all. Alright, you've done your job. Thank you very much. What do we get? Did she level up? Or did we just get an item? I'm not sure. Okay. That was that. Now, this. This is a field battle. It is indeed. I do wonder where that army went of Huang Huangzu because there was an army very close to attacking me, and then obviously it was right next to the Hui Yi army, and then obviously I decided to attack a bunch of its towns and it fucked off. But did it fuck off halfway and then go into ambush stance, hoping that I would run into it? And I just kind of dodged around it, or did it somehow run further back than this place? I very much doubt that too. But we gotta keep we gotta remember it does exist because it could actually come back and bite me in the arsehole. Uh oh, that's a bit awkward. Let's revolve rock. What is this? This rock is not part of my formation. Is this the ranged garrison? I think it was. Doesn't matter. I don't think it does. It was the... it was a ranged formation, or the ranged... Uh, thingamabob... thing. I'm not even gonna bother, just fire at whatever you can see. Don't fire at the fucking units of the air. Okay, that's good. At the edge, I was gonna say. You're kind of firing at the edge, but I will accept this. Destroy them! This is good shit. Units. 
my archers will take good care of these men. Oh. I don't know what I'm clicking, but just use it all. Good one, nice. Yes, our general needs aid. Dude, we have no healer in here, so let's not bother healing. Alright, cool. Got 69 kills. Oh my god, one of the units got 170 kills somehow. How did they even manage that? How did he have enough time to get 170 kills? On the enemy side, I mean, not mine, obviously. Obviously. Alright, well, I'm impressed. I'll say that much. There's my commander secured, and there's my hella food. Because that's 6 food plus... 100% plus whatever percent I get from research, which by the way, oh, two turns still, god damn. I was gonna say it might be done next turn, but it's not. Okay. So yeah, this guy probably wants peace at this point, except for the fact that he is of course a vassal, so he can't. I do wonder what piece of this guy would like, look like right now. 61, that's still a lot. But I think we fought through most of it already. I mean, to be fair, we haven't fought a single one of his armies yet, but we fucked up his vassal here. And, well, Tsai Mao has actually fought back pretty well so far. But we also have fucked up some of Liu Bei's armies. Some over here, some over here. What are you, I kind of wish you were, my, you were my friend. Okay, I forgot that I was supposed to rec recruit something here. So I have something to defend this place with. Although, even if I lose this, we can take it back literally the turn after with my army that's coming in. So I'm not too worried about it. I wish I could recruit her, but I can't. This guy's legendary, so if he dies, he still survives. I'm a survivor. I'm gonna make it. He's a survivor. Right, screw you. I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't think I'm gonna bother recruiting anything else. If we can defend it, great. If not, take it back. Alright. I don't think I spend the money. We keep it around more important things to spend money on, I'm sure. Okay, next turn we take that. You, I don't know what to do with yet. Are we gonna keep... I guess we do that. We do need two armies, two armies to destroy all this stuff up here. I don't really want to, but I feel like I'm forced to. Also, to be fair, by the time we take the capital of the Kingdom of Wu, we probably are gonna be on 95 regions. So we only need 24 more now, so we're definitely going up pretty rapid, rapidly. We just gotta take that final Kingdom of Wu seat. And then we can take whatever the fuck we want on the way as well. Um, assuming, by the way, that this doesn't count. The demand, whatever the fuck this is called. Um, allegiance or... Uh, submission, that's the one. Don't think that counts. Um, okay. And turn. See how many armies are going to attack me now. Okay, so they're taking the farm. That's fair enough. I'm not going to bother fighting this one. It's not even an actual uh, yeah, field battle. There's no way I'd be able to do anything useful there. So we knew that was going to happen. But that's why her Yi's here. Whether her Yi can take both those armies on though. That's a different question. Okay, there's another army from the Bay over there. There's an army next to my copper mine. Oh, you're coming back and attacking me. Well, that's kind of what we were okay with, weren't we? My army's a bit wounded. I could run away. Um, man, Sats is super low here as well. If I run away, I get one more turn of replenishment if I run off far enough away. But I lose the opportunity of killing them right now. I'm going to take it right away, though. Take the opportunity of running away. They might still be able to reach me. Oh, there you go. So now I can catch them on one, on one by one. Even better. Oh, was that soon, John? I think it was. So I knew I knew his army was over there somewhere. Man, I am glad I didn't run over that that way yet. Um, hmm. See, the thing is, your towns, I kind of need to make sure I I don't get stabbed in the back at some point. It's kind of why I'm not getting peace of the people up here. Because I just need to take these towns before you start fucking me over again. So, I'm sorry, but, you know what, unless you're willing to um, submit to my cause, which, you know, you're not. So, what's a boy to do? Um... Where the fuck did my food go? I had loads of food just now. I can't give him any... Oh, I can give him land, actually. Just out of curiosity. No, no way. No fucking way! And I can't give him the Emperor's seat, obviously. <laughs> That'd be stupid. 
Don't be stupid. All right, up end turn was actually okay. Fucking hell, I'm making loads of money now. Yeah, that um, uh, update, that patch came in just in time for this campaign. <laughs> uh, Kong vassalized Gal Galbo, it's whatever. Uh, okay. Invited Yuang Shang into their coalition. An exquisite weapon. Okay. What was it? An heirloom spear. You know what? I'm sure I can find some use for that. Okay, so these armies are actually... Oh, they actually didn't even take it. And my food is back up again. Uh, he's in... They're both in Force March stance. Please tell me I have Night Battle in this army. If I can kill off one of these armies right away, that'd be great. I don't think I got it. Tell me I got it. Uh, be, it'd be an under army or is it personal? I'm not sure. Like enables night battle. Oh god, it's like the one time I really need it. Mm, yeah, grid of deployment, but yeah, no night battles. Maybe no one in this army can actually even have night battles. I'm not sure. All right, well, we'll have to figure something else out then. But yeah, the opportunity was great, and it was right there. Attack this army in force march stance, kill it off by itself by night battling, and then killing off that one, and then having her man just fucking destroy Guan Yu or something. This army, I believe, actually might have night battles available. Um, I believe I saw it, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that, uh, Sun Jian's army was actually over here, so I was planning on running this way with this army. I might still do that, but perhaps not now, because Sun Jian's army, I can only imagine, is better than this one. Uh, so we got to be a little bit careful. There's also a random army here, which is not in Force March stance, so if I attack it, it can just run away. Having said that, it's one, another one of those situations where I could probably just recruit a single person in here and be okay. Um... So yeah, this wasn't going to be a food province, and I think... Yeah, I was just upgrading... Well, I was upgrading this, I think. The army that was over here is uh, still down that way, so we can turn you around this way again. And I think I will force march now. Should be able to reach it now next turn. Eh, let's go all the way, fuck it. Let's go all the way. Ah. Let's go all the way. You better fuck off, mate. Better fuck off, my mates. You need to get pulled back now. Don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. Oh, I don't need you anymore. No, I don't need you anymore. Do you, but Okay, sorry. Um, I could just make it a 2v2. That's the other option here. Which is not exactly what I want it to be like, but we'll see. I'll make that decision next time, though. Our settlement was sacked. How dare you? How dare you? That is just... Oh my goodness. That is just poor fucking manners. Poor manners, my good man. Let's upgrade all the farm shit currently. Being built, that's not farm shit, but still upgraded anyway. Upgrade, that's a f okay, that's not actually farm. Wait, yeah, it was not that. Uh, this is just money, sure, give me some more money. And why not? I might want to recruit an army, in which case I'd need that money back, but it's unlikely in this particular case. We have two level ups, I think. Jesus Christ, okay. It's QT. Uh, who's going to get? Tell him what he's going to win. Uh, let's just go for the ability. Can't go wrong with that. And Wugan is literally the same, so ability. Okay. Um, so yeah, we got potential battles here. I'm not entirely sure what to do about that. I could also attack this army, but it'll probably be able to get away. So I think recruiting a, 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 an army or two in here, or like a, a character into it or two in there, should be okay. We can also destroy Cao Cao. No problem with that much, or that one at all. Uh, we have a battle here as well. 
And then we have, also have the Iron Mine of Dong. So let's start by besieging all these places. This one I will probably have to fight manually and hope that they come out, which again might not work, but we'll see. For the moment, let's just start them out. Um, this farmland, probably a manual battle, unless I just go for the city and then you go for the farmland. You can actually reach the farmland and not the city, well. Isn't that fantastic? That's uh, currently not good, but it's okay. There's a garrison in there. Or a, um, what do you call it? I should actually, you know what, before I forget, at least build some stuff. Okay. I also need to end this episode now. So we'll do this. And then we'll fight that one too. So we got... Uh, that one's not going to be a battle, we'll siege that one out. We've got two battles here though, and we got this, which will probably be not as well, but maybe a battle. And we, yeah, we got to do something about this. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do about it. And there's, of course, still this situation here as well. At this point, there's uh, perhaps a bit too much for me to fight at once, because it's basically what I had to fight before and more. So maybe I'll stay in ambush towns, let my army replenish a little bit, and if they run into me, great. If they don't run into me, we can just come back later. Worst comes to worst, or worst case scenario, we do it a couple of times around here, we run this army around and a double team them. This army also has to move still. Guess we're gonna go this way to take, pick up the tea house, and you are also gonna attack this place, so that's another battle. Unless it's so low level that, no, it's not low level. Alright, so that's another battle. All these freaking battles are... Um, oh, wait, one thing I do need to do that I keep forgetting to do is replacing you with another trebuchet. No, you don't have that yet, but still. Okay. Um, right. So, yeah, that's basically that for now. And then there's tons of, tons more battles. There's, there's like four battles we gotta do right now. That will save the game. So, start them out. Most of them are just these fucking settlement battles though which are always the same and somehow still entertaining to me because blowing up a bazillion units in a single volley is just fun however many times i have to do it anyway that'll be that for now thank you guys very much for watching hope you enjoyed until next time have a good day and goodbye